one of you today and today I have another really cool system for you. Uh, it's a time freeze which basically freezes all of the mobs in place. Well not all of the mobs, uh, it could be all of the mobs but that would make the system a little bit bigger. Right now it freezes zombies, spiders, skeletons, creepers and endermen. Freezes it in place for about 30 seconds. The timer isn't exactly like seconds. Um, it's two ticks so 30 practically 60 ticks I guess yeah but uh, that's pretty much it I am going to demonstrate it right here it's I think it's uh, pretty cool if you kinda used in combination with ender pearls you can kill a lot of mobs so I'm just gonna go ahead and use this thing here and as you can see everything just froze oh wait <laughs> I actually can't use ender pearls in creative so yeah I can just run around kill all the mobs you can see they all have a name called frozen so that's just to indicate these mobs are and as you can see they just unfroze because the timer went back to well it's minus one right now and all the mobs just go back to normal if I just get another map I sp uh, don't test for the name of the map but if you want to do this in a uh, custom map or something you can uh, give the map a name that's like time freeze so yeah I can just freeze it in place here and you have all these mobs and all that stuff and yeah it's pretty cool and I'm gonna show you <coughs> sorry I'm gonna show you how it works and why right now it only works for these mobs it can work for all of them but it right now it doesn't so first off we just have a fill clock which is just filling this row constantly with redstone blocks and replacing them with stone and back to redstone so quickly that it's just a really fast clock and I've got two more clocks over there but we'll get to those later so just for the ease I've marked all of these rows a lot of these do kind of the same, but yeah, uh, there are a lot of rows of command blocks practically, but they're pr uh, really short. So, we're just going to start right here. So, this freezes the zombies. I also have one for freezing the creepers, freezing the endermen, so they're all separate. And that's why if you wanted to freeze every mob in the game, you have to make a row of three command blocks per mob for every mob in the game. And that's why I only made it for these five for now, just to explain the concept. And if you want to, you can just add other um, mobs to it. So, first command is it is testing for a score of frozen minimum one. So, test for at a score underscore frozen underscore min is one. So, if you have a score of frozen one or above, it will, the comparator will turn on. So, if I just go... Oh wait, I can type uh, scoreboard objectives, set display, sidebar, frozen. You can see that right now I've got a frozen score of zero. If I get the empty map activated, I have a frozen score of one, which triggers the entire system. And yeah, that's basically what that does. And then if that is the case, if I have a frozen score of one, it will execute at all zombies, at E type is zombie. It will summon a zombie with no AI and custom name Frozen. So it will basically, all zombies will be replaced with, uh, there will be a no AI zombie summoned at their place so that they don't move and they will be called Frozen, those that we can keep them apart from the normal zombies. And then uh, last thing we do is we TP at E type is zombies name is not Frozen. So the exclamation mark basically means any mob that isn't named Frozen will do this and it also has to be a zombie so all zombies that aren't named frozen so that are just normal ones walking around get tp 20 blocks down now why 20 because this world is only 15 blocks high so that's into the void uh, where we'll never see them again so that's that system now this clock right here is constantly clearing my inventory for a filled map now you could say why isn't this hooked onto this one for some reason because it was it wouldn't activate the comparator when it was uh, on that clock. I think the clock might have been too fast. So I put it on this one and it clears the filled map and set your scoreboard, um, the player scoreboard frozen to one. So that's how this activates in the first place. This one just set your scoreboard score of frozen to one. Then this one starts the timer you saw. So once again, it's testing for a frozen score of one to be activated. What it then will do is it will set the scoreboard time freeze to 30. Well, if I set display 
Time freeze. As you can see, it's at minus one right now because the timer so already went down. So it is right now. It's it sets it to thirty and it places a redstone block at those coordinates. And those coordinates are here. Now why here? That activates this clock, which um, uh, the uh, the repeater is set a little bit slower, and that constantly removes one time freeze score from that scoreboard, so that the timer goes down. So yeah, that's basically that. Pretty simple. This one just uh, this one activates that one, which counts down the timer. But first, it sets it to thirty because it will most likely be at minus one if it has been used before. Now this one stops the timer. This one is testing for a time freeze score of zero. So when the timer is at zero or below, I should say, it, if it's below zero, it will also activate. So with minus one and all that stuff, it will set that same block there to air, deactivating that so that it won't keep counting down. And then it will set uh, your time freeze score to zero. Now for some reason, this one isn't quite activating right, I think, because it does eventually always end up for at minus one for some reason and it sets your sets your frozen score back to zero so basically when the timer and it ends it sets your frozen score back to zero and we'll get into what the frozen score back to zero does later oh no wait later not later it's actually the next row so this one test also tests for a time freeze score of zero and if that is the case it will do the exact same we did before it will summon at a zombie but this time it summons at the zombie called frozen so it summons at the frozen zombie a normal zombie so it's the other way around and then it kills all entities named frozen by tp'ing them into the void now this command block i only have one of it doesn't have to be in all the unfreeze rows because every single frozen mob is called frozen so i can just tp them all down at once and get rid of them all and then up here is just another one which is just the same thing for creepers it um at all creepers named frozen summons a normal creeper when they're before they are tp down and then the rest of the rows are basically this one is the exact same as the first row with the zombies except it does it for creepers and this one is the exact same for skeletons spiders endermans and this these two rows are the exact same as this one but instead of increasing zombies and creepers, this one does skeletons and enemies, and this one spiders. So yeah, if you want more mobs, let's say uh, slimes. You want slimes, you need to add one row, uh, which is exactly like this one, and just remove it, and just replace every row where it says zombie with slime in this row. <coughs> And you need to make another one of these command blocks. You can just place it on this one and uh, replace all of it where it says Enderman or something else with slime. And then it will also work on slimes. It's that simple. All the commands will be in the description. Uh, I will kind of categorize them so that like in the freeze you will see them for every mob. So that you can kind of see how similar commands really are. So that you can use them yourself and kind of make this into what you want it to be. Also, some great news, my PC is finally working, so I'm at a constant 60 frames per second right now, which is bloody amazing. <laughs> I just love it, so I've got absolutely no lag, and yeah, that should also really help my rendering. It should go a lot faster, so that's amazing, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.